Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last run we won, and it was very kind of unceremonious. Just looking to see what what number this run is today. Is that right? That might be right. Alright. Um, let's random. No lost, and please God, no Maggie. Now it's not gonna be Maggie, that could be the Oh, it's a Zazel! Alright. I'm excited. I wanna sing like a Zazel to the tune of Eric Clapton's Layla. Zazel! Got me on my knees. QZTM. Let's just put that moment behind us if you don't mind. RBX8. Let's move that off the screen and get started here. It could be anything. It could even be Maggie's bow, which is actually kind of amazing for us. What would be hilarious, I think, is if we actually got the keys necessary to enter that room, that double key room, and then just re-rolled our whole run. Like, we would still be a Zazel, so I think we'd still have the brimstone, but who knows what kind of crazy bullshit we can get up to. Uh, I'm so excited, and I, I just can't hide it. You might be noticing that I appear to be a little bit more animated than usual with the tone of my voice right now. But um, the the truth is, I'm excited because as a Zazel, right now, we're already dealing more damage than we were dealing by the end of that last run. But we ended up winning that last run despite having only one HP on the last of our nine lives for the blue baby fight. Look, I don't pretend to know how it happened. I'm just glad that it did happen. Uh, and it, it worked out. I mean, the last run was interesting, but when I beat it, I was just kind of like, oh, I, I didn't expect that. Please, work with me. Book of Revelations on the next item room. Or a library. That would be fine as well. Uh, a library that, uh, you know, was on the next floor, because there's no more coming for us on this floor. Playing a little sloppy here, but, you know, I think I've earned the right to play a little sloppy. Here we got Ball of Bandages. Ball of Bandages is an orbital. It helps out a little bit if I'm going to be playing so aggressively. I don't mind it. We didn't get enough keys to enter that double key room. That's okay. Shit happens. We'll get a nearly guaranteed deal with the devil here. Maybe trade some of our HP away for more damage, because that is the run type that I very much desire right now. That's not really going to be enough money to do anything except buy a, a spirit heart from a shop if we are so interested in that, but uh, more interested in actually being able to visit our item room. It's very weird, because I just finished that last, uh, that guillotine run. And I'm like, I feel we, oh, f no. <laughs> you know what? We had you last time, guillotine. You had your chance, okay? Oh, I should go back and get that other chest. You had your chance, Guillotine. Maybe at some point in the future I'll, I'll pick you back up. Because you weren't terrible on the last run. But I was just about to say, it feels weird not having Guillotine because uh, I'm, I am I don't have to worry about where my head is. Like, I my head and body are in the same position. So if I dodge with one, I'm dodging for the other. For the purposes of the other, I guess, to be more accurate and actually utter a sentence that seems to make sense in the English language. That being said, Guillotine showed up promptly afterwards, which I just, at this point, thought was funny. Hey. Hey. Hey! I'm not happy with that. Um, this being said, you know, it's been a bit of a rocky start for us here. It's pretty much the worst possible start that you can have. Is uh, ending up going up against the Haunt, but... It's not the end of the world, all things considered. My Brimstone is better than yours, my friend. My brimstone is better than yours. I could teach you, but I'll have to charge. Halo is amazing. And then maybe, just maybe, a good deal with the devil. Well, tell you what. Let's go completely ape shit here. There's not really much point in using Book of Belial here. Uh, so I won't. We'll just... Oh, there's, no, there's nothing for us here. Except secret rooms. We might as well check for those. Uh, we're, obviously, we're going to be a little bit low on the HP front, but we have a good chance to become Guppy, and we'll get guaranteed deals with the devil for the rest of the game. I'm for it. I'm interested. I'm, I'm cooking with gasoline here. Let's get ready. I'm excited. Off the chain. Apparently, someone told me off the chain as an expression originated from fucking dog fighting. I don't think I want that, actually, for once. It would lower our damage and all damage that we had for the rest of the game in order to get a little bit of a faster charge. I don't think it's worth it, really. Um, is that true? I didn't look it up on Urban Dictionary, nor did I talk to some kind of etymologist, um, which is uh, someone who's an expert in edamame, you know, the uh, green beans you can sometimes get at a Japanese restaurant. We'll probably go through with that, but I want to check our curse room first because the guppy dream could become a guppy reality that actually gave us some extra HP. All right, the game is proving very, very kind to us right now. I have to admit, I'm loving the fact that we got uh, 
two out of the three necessary guppy items already. I'm loving the fact that we picked up one of the best active space bar items in the game after using the fucking shovel the whole run last run. We got one bl What did the shovel effectively give us? Well, deals with the devil that gave us horse shit, followed by Sister Maggie for free. Oh, isn't she lovely? To answer your question, Stevie Wonder, not really. Also, that's the worst Stevie Wonder impression of all time. I don't even really uh, have anything to offer in my own defense there. I apologize to... Uh, man, a lot of people, you know, they, they don't understand Stevie Wonder. Go back and listen to, like, uh, some of his Motown stuff or, you know, songs in the key of life. Stevie Wonder is a musical genius. Hasn't done anything, you know, super relevant in the lifespan of, of most of the people who are probably listening to this video, but uh, myself included, I guess. But uh, songs in the key of life and, you know, like, uptight all right, man. Stop using Stevie Wonder as the butt of your jokes. It makes you kind of a dick. Also, he's a very talented musician. Actually, I shouldn't say he's done nothing of, uh, of consequence, you know, on a professional music level in the past few decades. Because he did do True to Your Heart from the Mulan soundtrack featuring 98 Degrees, which... I gotta admit, it was really nice of 98 Degrees to throw Stevie Wonder a bone and let him collaborate with musical geniuses like the Lachey Brothers. Anyway. I got nothing against 98 Degrees. It's just an easy joke. I don't feel good about it. They might be perfectly nice individuals. They've probably done more for, for charity than, than I've ever done. You know, there's probably someone out there who, for whom True to Your Heart by 98 Degrees featuring Stevie Wonder really changed their life. I mean that sincerely. There's gotta be someone out there like that. Um, not gonna buy anything else here just yet. And more power to you, man. That's what I get for being a naysayer, in all honesty. Being kind of a jerkhole about the whole situation. You might be saying, sharp plug. I actually, I, I'm still, I, I understand the intellectual, or I should say, intellectually, I understand the usage of uh, sharp plug. In, in life here, I have yet to find a situation where sharp plug has really benefited me in the maximally you know, beneficial way that I know it can. It just, I haven't found myself in the proper circumstances yet. Certainly, having almost no HP and Book of Belial, an item that we don't really need to use all that much because our damage is so good as is, uh, is not that maximally beneficial situation. So this is where we're going to be very much hoping for a lump of coal. Of course, you know... Nah, that's not good. That's alright, though. We got uh, growth hormones, which is sweet. You know my MO as... Uh, as a Zazel. I love to keep this fool c Oh my god, we are fast. I love to keep this fool card as long as is humanly possible. And then, um, cash it in for a free item from the boss rush room, basically. A free item of our choice, in fact. Well, we may end up getting a little extra something-something from our shop now. It almost feels foolish not to take sharp plug in this situation. I realize that I'm taking some dumb damage, but, you know, given the amount of lives that we have, it doesn't really seem like that big of a deal. I will take Mini Mush, you know, for a little bit of an extra speed boost, which I think we definitely need right now, because if there's anything I could think about this run, is that we're a little bit slow. Sorry, I want to shout, because you might not be able to hear me back there. Thought for sure that would be the room. You know what? Let's try this. Full health. Might as well use it, but it's not very really good. I'm not taking Sharp Plug. I understand we could find some unique situations where it could be useful. I'm just going to save our money and maybe be able to buy more shop items in the future. Let's head down to the next floor. We're in a great situation. What can I say, you know? It's pretty good. Red chests. Those are not red chests. Easy to forget. We're still only one guppy item away from uh, the ultimate guppy success. Which is becoming guppy, apparently. <laughs> I still think there should be like a super guppy transformation. Where uh, if you get like... Three guppy items, you become guppy, and then four gu guppy items, you become like super guppy, and then five guppy items, you are like become guppy destroyer of worlds. Appear to be energy resources. But I've never seen anything like this on Oith. It's like the first chance I've had today to do that, I think. We find the energy quizzes, we'll find Dr. Wowie. Alright, we all know where I'm going with that one. Wings are flapping crazy here. Figured we might as well cash out on a little bit of money here, and um, we don't have any keys, so we may actually find ourselves going back there, although these champions, yeah, we got two champions of the same kind, so I figured they would drop uh, the same consumable, and luckily they did. The exact consumable we need. Are you a wizard? It would be sweet if this actually did put out Brimstone at a 45 degree angle. It does not, though. 
A little bit unfortunate just because it would be ridiculous. Wow, that is some absolutely terrible damage. But we got lucky, you know, we, we've had the Halo, we got Maggie's Bow in our first item room, and we've had a lot of Balls of Steel pills, so... I recognize, by the way, that I've played terribly this run, but at the same time... Maybe cut me a little slack, this is a, a little bit of like an almost vacation run after that series of lost runs. Well, that's interesting over there. Uh, after that series of lost runs, not to mention uh, that last Maggie run, where we did find ourselves in a very lost-esque position, where we basically just couldn't take any damage. So, you'll forgive me if I don't mind taking a little bit of damage here and yet still finding ourselves in a, you know, very soluble position. Probably not good use of soluble there. Cricket's head shows up all the time, quickly becoming one of my favorite damage upgrades in the game. Pop up, pop up, pop up. Thank you. Ah, we almost got both of you. Come on, pop up. Just maybe give it a little pop up, thank you. Tower card, not, not particularly good for us right now. Interesting, a key beggar. Well, we could have multiple uses of the Fool card. That seems not very useful. We'll buy our battery instead. And this floor is essentially over. I might as well have used uh, Book of Belial more often. Or at least go back and pick up those batteries to get the charges full, but it matters so little. It's kind of hard to muster the, the ability to care, because, you know, there's some extra HP for us. And hey, a guppy item. Don't mind if I do. So now that we're guppy, let's get the spirit hearts. I could have taken ghost baby, but who cares about ghost baby, basically, is what I'm trying to get at there. Yeah, we do have the collar and nine lives, and okay, so we're guppy now. Our flies as Azazel should do a ton of damage. We should get flies as Azazel. Sometimes a, you know, primary tier type stuff changes things, but now we seem to be generating flies uh, excellently. So even if we actually wanted to. Ah, Bricano is very good. When you have uh, high damage, anyway. Um, even if we wanted to do boss rush, that would be something that would be very easy for us to accomplish. But in the meantime here, I think we're looking at what could be one of the fastest runs that we've ever uh, done as a Zazel or as anyone. Should be looking out for Tinted Rocks. I'm taking a little bit of dumb damage here. Well, what am I looking for here? Honestly, I do feel like this run is lacking something. And I'm not one to complain about this. Uh, sure, we'll buy this. I'm not really one to complain about this, but, uh... I do feel like I, I would love to have our, ch our shots charge a little bit faster. Right now our shots are not charging uh, very quickly, which is not the end of the world. Because we do do enough damage to nearly kill all enemies in one single charge. Or at the very least, we do enough damage to generate enough flies to kill enemies in uh, a single charge. That being said, uh, if we could get a tears upgrade, I feel like we'd be better off against bosses and whatnot. Now, we've already been to our shop. It feels weird to not have an obligation to donate anymore. That's the world we found ourselves in, though. Or we find ourselves in, I should say. Ooh, careful. Don't break yourselves on the freaking area where you can't even do anything. Again, it's hard to muster the, the desire to use Book of Belial when it doesn't seem like it's going to be uh, all that important for us. Pinky Eye, though, on the other hand, is something that I'll be uh, very happy to have the opportunity to use here. Now I'm not going fast because I'm lazy, I'm going fast because it's it's fun. You played Sonic before, probably, maybe? Yeah, on average, probably, if you're watching this video. I would have to guess. Let's throw start throwing some bombs down in here because I could use uh, some tarot cards in the future. Whoa, that was unexpected. It is possible that my cockiness could put me in, in a little bit of trouble here. We don't really want that right now, but it's okay. But it is also possible that... Perthro, it's a reroll. It is also possible that we already do enough damage that uh, we're not liable to be stopped. Even if I go if I go into like the boss rush room... Or the, sorry, the... Let's say like the blue baby or Isaac room. If I went in there, <laughs> such awful damage. With... Um, with one HP and one life left, as long as I had Book of Belial, I would expect to have a decent chance at it, to be honest with you. I don't think it would be that unlikely. Like, are the flies that we're generating deal a ton of damage? It's really just sloppy play that, that's making this look harder than it is right now. And I'll admit, it's, it's not just sloppy play, it's very, very sloppy play, but... 
That's that's totally fine, I think, in the long run. I mean, I would rather I would rather respawn with some actual HP here anyway. Stop trading our HP ups away for stuff that is not necessary. Okay, good item room. Ipecac is a decent, or sorry, not Ipecac. Chemical peel is a decent item room. Ipecac would have been fine as well. Good. All right. Uh, can I beat Mom without getting hit? I think the answer is probably yes. Probably should have taken that pill. Forgot we had a double room. That's okay. Hey, a second level ball of bandages. We might be able to get to a third level. I know I shouldn't be that excited about that, you know. It's just a... It's just a familiar, but still. Plenty of time. We're going to take the Polaroid. We're going to check out our deal with the devil. Spirit hearts wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Sure, I mean, you know. We did a little bit of overkill on the whole guppy situation here. I think Book of Belial is definitely a lot better. Let's snag a, a free item, hopefully. Yeah. We'll take uh, Spider Babby. Teleport out. And we come back in and uh, we'll go get the Perthro rune for the, the change. We don't want to go out the up way. We want to go this way, yeah. We'll go get the Perthro rune if it is up there. No, it's further away. All right, we're just going to go down to the next floor then. I'm not really interested in setting any, like, land speed records here, but I would like to go fast just for fun, you know? You don't get that opportunity on every Isaac run. In fact, the last few Isaac runs... Hey, it's all right. The last few Isaac runs I've had today uh, have been very, very slow, so to be able to go this quickly is a luxury, and believe me, it's a luxury I don't intend to waste. So it looks like we're going to the right side here. It would be nice if we could make our lives last as long as possible. I harbor no... Uh, no, uh, what should I say here? No prediction that uh, we're going to be able to keep them alive very long. Like, I don't think this is going to be our winning life here. That being said, uh, the longer we make the lives last, the, the better off we're going to be. And if we could just, uh, you know, maybe keep this life al alive for this entire floor, that would feel pretty good. This tinted rock will hopefully help. Very good. Mama Gertie. Well, with the ability to fly and the stupid number of, like, actual attack flies we have, it seems pretty easy. Pentagram is a nice upgrade for us, and... I don't think Rotten Baby's worth it. It would be absurd to do it, which is, in a way, kind of tempting for me, but at the same time, uh, I'm maybe a little bit... playing a little bit more conservatively now, now that I know that our HP is very unlikely to get better. If you know what I mean, like... We're, we're pretty much going to be on one HP for the rest of the game. It might sound kind of, uh, you know, scary or daunting, but look at the damage that we're doing. And, of course, we could uh, get extremely lucky, end up getting, uh, you know, health up pills or something like that. But, hey, at least with one spirit heart, like one and a half spirit hearts, we have the chance to get permanent Polaroid invincibility, albeit only very, very temporarily. I was just looking for tinted rocks quickly. Didn't see any, but that doesn't mean there weren't any. And we could go to our curse room. Let's live a little dangerously. Hey, you know, getting Gimpy might actually be worth it here. It might not, but it might be. This means that if we die, we'll actually have a chance to drop some spirit hearts on the ground, and those spirit hearts we could pick up all on one life, and essentially, from garbage, create like one super life. I'm not saying it's too likely. Our super life would probably end up having, like, you know, three spirit hearts instead of one, so it's not that incredible. Uh, but still, it's better than we're starting with. Why do you even take Book of Belial if you don't use it? Why do you feel the need to make yourself feel superior, straw man that I just made up? Why don't you just uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride? Maybe I'll try to crack some jokes here. Your jokes aren't funny. Hey, now you've gone too far. Okay, the flies have done good work. We got teleported down to the bottom of the of the map, which uh, always happens, but made it so our flies just bumped into Mom, which is kind of nice. I don't believe there's any value in using uh, two books of Belial, especially considering we just so easily kind of went through that one. Well, we're only one floor away from getting down to the chest, and we're only 16 minutes into the run. Where's the boss room? Oh, it's up there in the top left. It's kind of kind of faint, a little hard to see. Ooh, it's kind of faded. I, I when. Whenever there's an opportunity to fit in a soul decision reference, you rest assured that I will do it, my friend. Oh, how did I spend a key there? I flew 
right over it. So that was a little too fast for the game, I think, was my problem there. I don't know what my, my fastest Azazel run ever is, uh, but I do know that on stream one time, I did beat the chest in uh, in 15 minutes on an unseated run. I know B-Rex has done it in like three minutes or something ridiculous, but, you know, not everyone can be Bananasaurus Rex, you know? Uh, 15 minutes on an unseated run, I think, is my best, so this is going to be a little slower than that, but... Oh, there's a Tinted Rock. But it's it's hard to be mad at this run regardless. Like, this really emphasizes how powerful Azazel can become. Uh, no, I was going to say, like, in the right hands, but I don't even need to say that part. Just, it, it emphasizes how powerful Azazel starts as, and if you don't throw, then uh, this is what can happen to you as well. Man, this is a quick one. I am a, a little bit excited, I've got to admit. I thought this one, you know, we've been in kind of a little bit of a more defensive streak lately. This one... Ooh, Firemind, a little dangerous. Number one, shoot the whoop, able. I'm gonna take them all just for fun. I don't know if Firemind actually will cause explosions. If it does, that's gonna be a little bit problematic for me, but I don't even know what happened there. Either way, oh man, we have much shorter range thanks to number one. But uh hey, of course we do. But it, it's gonna make our charges like way faster to charge. And I think with more ticks of damage, maybe we'll be able to generate more flies. No guarantees there, just my thinking. Unfortunately, uh Gluttony was the furthest away, and thus Gluttony was the one that was chosen to live there. Remember on the last run when we had so much trouble beating Double Monstro 2 room? Well, no such luck this time. It doesn't seem like we get explosions. It seems like we do light enemies on fire, but we don't create the fires that lead to explosions, which is good for me in this case. Excuse me. A little careful on that one, please. And this run is not meant as, like, a fuck you to people who think that Azazel's not too easy. It's mostly just, you know, I, I want to point out that I appreciate Azazel now. I appreciate him for what he is. What he is is kind of the game's easy mode, and it, it gives you a head start, and it lets you kind of shit on the game a little bit, which I appreciate it. I, I appreciate that there's a character like that. Uh, not every, I, you know, did I really want a character in the game, another character in the game who's, like, somewhere in the, you know, Maggie to Samson range of quality? I don't know. I wouldn't wouldn't turn down my nose on it, even though I did just make the universal sound for turn down your nose, but turn up your nose. Turn down for what? That's what I'm... I got it all confused. Um, can we just, like... Yeah, I was thinking, like, maybe I could just kill you without actually having to be there. That'll work. What else do we have? More super envies. Well, I, w I guess I would rather kill super sloth last. There should be, a, like, a super version of Abel. Oh my god, we're gonna kill Envy last. That's so disappointing. Um, there should be a super version of Abel where uh, he gets your damage. Like, your exact damage. Almost as if he was, like, a, a simulated co-op buddy, but you were in control of him. That would be a cool item. Just saying. Alright. Well, this room is really shitty for us because we can't get close to these enemies. But our flies and that one spider that's still chilling around here can get close. So that's fine. We, we gotta, you know, keep ourselves out of harm's way here. Any kind of range downgrade as, uh, as a Zazel can be a little risky, but... Look, it seems like we're totally fine. How long is it? Well, I was gonna say how long has it been since we've taken damage, but that's not true. We, we did take a little damage on this floor. I got hit by some freaking double chubs, which is just embarrassing at this point. Yeah, whatever. What are you gonna do? Can we beat Blue Baby without getting hit? Also, what's our time gonna be? Probably not under 20 minutes. Oh no. <laughs> danger, danger. All right, I'll tell you what. Why don't we go to like one more room? Hilarious. I was thinking we'd go to one more room just to get flies built up. Because if we go in with a fly army, that's going to be better than going in with no flies. And uh, it should be very easy to kill Polycephalus. And we're going to have three flies. Three flies? <sighs> okay. Um, well, the red hearts don't matter. Because we're not in Horror of Babylon State. I guess we'll try. I don't really want to use... Um, Book of Belial just yet. Because we might want to... Yeah, I'm thinking we might want to, like, give this a few tries. Are there any other rooms left over? You know, I talk about runs all the time where it's, like, easier to beat the the enemies before a boss than it is to beat the boss themselves. 
This appears to be the most extreme example of that, where it was extremely easy for us to beat the rooms that came before this boss, and now we find ourselves in a bit of a more harrowing position, but we're basically done. Thank you, flies. Okay, no, no stress needed. Didn't even use Book of Belial on that one. Final time. 2056. Not bad. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.